Hey there, how's it going everybody? So check this out. This is a really unique plant, close relative to the artichoke. This is called cardoon, or cardone, or cardoni. They're all correct. But as you can see, it has a very thistle-like appearance. It's part of the Asteraceae family, or the sunflower family. And unlike the artichoke, which is typically grown for the edible globes, this plant here is grown for the edible stalks, or the midrib of the leaf. Typically what's done is towards the end of its life cycle, and it is a perennial, but it will die back after it goes into flower and then it will re-sprout about a month later. But what's typically done is a process known as blanching where the leaves and the ribs are actually tied up to the plant and then it's surrounded by some sort of dark covering like a cardboard or a plastic and it's left that way for four to six weeks. That brings out some of the sweetness and makes the plant more tender apparently. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually go through that process. It's not absolutely necessary, but that is a step that's commonly taken. There's so many ways to prepare this vegetable. I've seen it steamed, sauteed, baked, fried, breaded, everything. And although I haven't actually tried it yet, what I hear is that it tastes very similar to artichoke. So that's really exciting. But whether you're growing this as an edible crop or as a showy ornamental, this is just a beautiful perennial, zone 7B through 9B. You'll have no problem growing this. You know, I'm looking forward for the flowers to start to blossom. They've got these beautiful blue-violet flowers very unique looking. It's going to be a great attractor for bees just like the artichoke flowers are. And I'll just also add this plant is very drought tolerant which is also a great benefit to us folks in California, Arizona and so on and so forth. But anyway that's it for now. Just wanted to share that with you. But I hope you're having a great evening and I'll be talking to you again real soon. Cheers.